Welcome to Hourglass Workshops and Conversations with Nancy and Cheryl. I'm Nancy Burns, an acupuncturist in San Jose, California. And I'm Cheryl C.V. I'm a writer, researcher, and blogger about women's midlife issues, also here in San Jose, California. Today we're talking about building a community. And one, one aspect, part one we just discussed, was the area of the People moving away. Yes, and the other, thank you, and the other <laughs> is people staying. That and, would be sure. And that would be me. Yeah. Um, I was, I grew up in, you know, I grew up nearby, probably about 10 miles away from where I'm currently living, mm -hmm. and uh, my sons live nearby, and so. Oh, we, your grandchildren you know, are my here. grandchildren are here, yeah, so I'm not but going But most anywhere. of her friends, or many of her friends, yes. have moved away. Yes, in, and in the past five years, yeah. that's true. And so, what have you done to kind of well, backfill all those friends. Well, I, you know, some things I got involved with a, um, a long distance running group mm -hmm. and it's people of all ages and it was a group that I wasn't involved with a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and so I've done that and that's been a lot of fun. Um, I've rekindled some past friendships. Right. You know, people that I knew several years ago in some women's organizations that I really liked. Uh, we've reconnected, got mm -hmm. together for coffee, found we have some good shared interests, mm -hmm. and that's um, you know that's added a newer dimension. So it's it's kind of like deepening acquaintances to make them you know to become deeper friends. And the other thing that I noticed that Cheryl's done is she's um, met people and then reaches out and said basically let's get together for coffee. Yes. I'd like to get to know you better. Yeah. And you've met some very yes. interesting people. Yes, I yeah. have. And uh, I feel jealous because I'm leaving and she's meeting all these interesting people I now. Know, but I keep telling you to come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, true. Uh, but, but you really have to make an effort. Otherwise, your group dwindles and, uh, and you know, and you end up, you know, kind of going, Stagnant. Yeah, you end yeah, up stagnant. Yeah, you don't want that. And also, you know, my interests have changed. Mm -hmm. When I was working, you know, five, six years ago, I was very actively involved in a number of women's business groups. Mm -hmm. And a few of those women have kind of translated on into becoming friends. Those mm -hmm. are the ones that I mentioned that I reached out to, with. And uh, and others have drifted by the by, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I think... And then you're doing a lot with writing. Yes. So you've met a lot of interesting people. Yes. They're yes. not all here. Some of them are via the internet. Right. You know, but right. And, and I think and, and that's one thing to bring up too is that you really, even though you may have an online community, that is not your day-to-day, face-to-face yeah. community. And don't let that be a substitute right. for good quality conversations, conversations over coffee, mm -hmm. um, conversations over dinner, getting together. Um, one uh, friend of mine, um, about 15, 20 years ago, she started a group called Lunch Bunch. Mm -hmm. And it was just a group of women that got together, first around her kitchen table. Now the group's grown to a point where there's about 30 or 40 women mm -hmm. that come regularly once a month. She has speakers on a whole variety of issues come. It's very reasonable. It's a lot of fun. And I've gotten to know many new women mm -hmm. that I not, normally not would have not done. And so if you're in an area or you're feeling like you'd like to do consider a lunch bunch or yeah. a breakfast with babes or yeah. whatever you consider but yeah. but just try something new and you'll be surprised how you can grow your community and mm -hmm. rebuild it yeah so anyway that's my suggestion <laughs> so until next time I'm Cheryl and I'm Nancy and check us out on hourglassworkshops.com bye now bye